In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a movie using the type of artificial intelligence called a GAN. GAN stands for Generative Adversarial Network. Um, these take images, typically thousands. They learn features of these images, and then generate unique images with similar features. And that's exactly what you're looking at right now. This is not a photo of me. I wish I was this photogenic. Uh, nor is this a photo of anybody. As the website address indicates, this person does not exist. Um, this is generated by a GAN, which has been trained with thousands of images of faces. It has learned the features of different faces, and it is therefore able to generate unique faces that look really realistic. Equally, we could give a GAN thousands of pictures of cats. And it would learn to generate unique, realistic images of cats. Don't worry, this probably all sounds very complicated, um, but that is as technical as it's going to get, I promise. Uh, you don't need any coding experience um, or any familiarity with AI to do this um, tutorial. All you need is a Google Drive account. Okay, so once we've copied our GAN folder to the My Drive folder of our Google Drives, we go into Project 1. We don't worry about any of these folders. We just go straight to the Open Me file, right-click, Open with Google Colab. You might not see that option there. If not, you just need to connect to more apps, search it, and install. Then when you go back, you'll see the option available. So we open this file. This is the only file we're going to need to make the movie. And then, as you can see, we're just six steps away from making the movie. So we're now in Google Colab. This is a, a free service where Google very kindly let you connect to their very powerful computers that are going to get the job done a lot quicker than our laptops, unless we have very good laptops. Uh, so first thing we're gonna do is connect to one of these computers. So over here we can see the green tick. This tells us we're connected uh, to a runtime, to a computer. And now we can get started. First, we have a bit of initial setup to do. We have to connect to our Google Drive. So we run this cell, and then we have to follow the link and get an authorization code. First, we select which, uh, which account, if we have more than one, we want to access. Allow access, copy the link, go back to our notepad, Paste it in there. Okay, and it says we're connected, so that's great, no errors. And in the next cell, we want to tell the notebook which folder we're working in. So we just need to make sure this name here matches the name of the folder we're working in here. So we could have another folder called Project 2. And if we were in that folder, we just need to change this to Project 2, for example. After we've done that, we don't worry about any of this, we just need to run the cell. Uh, 
And for the last part of the initial setup, we just need to do a couple of checks. So we run this cell and it tells us what version we're using and what type of computer we're using. This needs to say CUDA. Um, if it doesn't, and it says CPU, we're using the wrong type of computer, the wrong runtime. So we need to go up to runtime, change runtime type, change this to GPU, and save. This will then reset our runtime here, and we will need to rerun these three cells again. And then it should say CUDA. To train our GAN, we need to feed it lots of data in the form of images and or videos. But first this data needs to be processed and that brings us to step two. Uh, first, we need to add all our data, all our videos and images into the data raw folder. About a thousand images is a good amount. Um, here I've got about 2000 images of sunsets. Then we go back to our notebook and then by running this cell we will convert our videos into images and our images will then be square cropped and their resolution will be reduced but before we run this cell uh, we just need to specify two parameters so if we want our images to be converted into black or white we change this value to zero and this parameter specifies how how often we grab a frame from our videos. So the lower this number is, uh, the more images we get out of our videos. Uh, so if this uh, parameter is one, one second, it means we grab a frame every second from our videos. So a 60 second video will give us 60 images, but we can reduce or increase this number as, we, as required. So let's run that cell. I think that was okay. Oh my God. When that cell finishes, you get a little printout of how many images were successfully converted and how many errors you had. So we had a few errors here due to the file names containing full stops, but nothing to worry about. Uh, it takes about 10 minutes uh, to convert 2000 images. And when the cell finishes, we get a little bleep noise to tell us it's finished. So we can just leave it running. Uh, so moving on, now let's run the cell and view our processed images. After about a minute or two, you should uh, see a nice grid of 64 samples of your processed images. If you've got any problems with them, you can always go to the data folder, into processed images, and this is where they all are. Uh, so you can always delete one or two of them if you need to, or the whole folder and start again if uh, they're no good. But if they are okay, then you can Proceed on to step three. So moving on to section three, uh, here we're going to specify some variables for our training. First of all, we just need to check that our folder name here is the same as what we specified up here in cell 1B. Then we can specify the resolution of the images we want to create. So at 64, this would create images that are 64 by 64 pixels. This is always a good starting point. And then we can always move on to 128 by 128. Or we can even go lower. Uh, number of channels, uh, this is just specifying whether our training images are black and white or color. And then these three variables are specified in relation to our image size. 
me instructions on how to do that up here. Advanced settings, hopefully we don't have to change any of these, but maybe if you run into problems, we'll, we'll change a few of those. And this we don't edit at all. So if we've changed any of the configuration, uh, we need to run this cell. And then this then writes uh, a file to our Google Drives. And it's very important that if we do overwrite that file, we go we restart our runtime. And we can see it here reinitializing. And once we've got the green tick, we also need to go back up to the top and run these first two cells again. And then we can go back down. Okay, so we're now ready to train our gun. So if we expand section four, um, all we need to specify here is the number of epochs that we train for. So this is the duration of our training. And the more we train our GAN, uh, the more our generated images will resemble our training images. Just to show you an example, I'm just going to run for one epoch to start with. So one epoch means that we cycle through all our 2,000 images. So an epoch means that we run through our 2,000 images one time. So we get the bleep noise and that tells us our training is finished. So we've done our one epoch, which means we've cycled through uh, our training images once. So we've gone through 2000 images. Now we can view the results and see how our generated images are looking after the training. So we expand section five and let's plot some of our generated images. So as you can see, they're looking very uh, unrecognizable, very unlike a sunset. Um, so let's go back up and continue training. So let's try 25 epochs and see how they look after that. So our 25 epochs have completed 
uh, that only took a minute or two. So now let's go down to section five and see how they're looking. As you can see, our GAN is doing a lot better now. Um, it's learning the features of the sunset and the colors. Um, maybe you're happy with these images and you're, you're wanting to make uh, a movie that's more abstract or impressionistic. If so, you can continue down to section six and make the movie now, or you can go back to section four to continue training. So I'm going to train for another 75 and see how it's looking after that. So about five minutes later, our additional 75 epochs are complete. Uh, so our GAN is now at 100 epochs training. And we can go down to section five again and see how those generated images are looking. So yeah, we can see there's a lot more detail in there and we're starting to see the feature of the sun itself. Um, if we decide to continue training from here, it's always a good idea to save our model because training again is a very fickle process and it can often completely collapse and we're left with static noise once again. So uh, saving checkpoints is always a good idea. So we can go to the bottom of the notepad uh, and specify a relevant model name here, run that cell and that saves our model. We can verify that by going to our project folder and all our models live in this folder here and we can see, there it is. To load a pre-saved model, we go to our model folder and we copy the name of the model we want to load. This is one I made earlier, which we trained for 250 epochs. We go back to the notepad and we put this name into the load model cell, run that cell, and we've loaded the model. We can then continue to train or do as we please. So let's generate some images and see how they're looking at 250 epochs. So we can see there's quite a bit more detail there and there's also some kind of strange interesting stuff which is rather nice. So once we're happy with our generated images it's then time to make a movie. So we go down to section six. First, we give our movie a meaningful title. We specify the number of frames per second. It's always good to leave this at 24. Next, a smoothing factor. So this is how quickly we transition between our generated images in seconds. So the higher this number is, the smoother and more gradual our movie will be. And finally, we specify a duration in seconds. Then we run the cell, wait a few seconds, and our movie is done. And we can then watch our movie by going to our project folder, video, and here she is. So sometimes it takes a minute or two for the videos to appear in your Google Drive. And once we've done a 64 pixel movie, Movies and videos are a great way to train our GAN because they contain lots of images. Uh, with just a few minutes of a video containing thousands of images. 
uh, and I'm going to show you two ways of how you can get hold of videos or movies to train your GAN. So one way for movies is we go to publicdomainmovies.net and this is a, a site containing lots of movies in the public domain uh, so movies without copyright and you can just browse through them and download any of them straight off a website you just go to download movie and right click on the movie save video as and it lets you download it uh, another way which is a bit more general is first we need Firefox internet browser and we need to um, get an add-on for that so we search for video helper and this is the add-on we need video download helper if you don't have that you just install it follow the instructions and then you should get this little icon appearing in the top right of your browser and once you've got that you can go to any website containing videos so YouTube Facebook, Instagram and search for the video you want and just go to that icon in the top right and it should give you the option of downloading it in a few formats. You click the download and yeah usually select use companion app and in a couple of minutes that video will then appear in your in a folder called DW Helper that will be somewhere in your in your personal drive somewhere uh, like in the home directory and once we've got a video to train our GAN with you just need to go back to um, your Google Drive with the, the GAN folder project one and in the data folder you just need to put your video in the raw folder and then follow uh, instructions on how to process that video into uh, individual images to use for training our GAN.